After watching this video, you will be able to fix overheating on your iPhone. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. I'm getting a lot of comments from your side that you're facing overheating issue on your iPhone after updating it to iOS 18.3.1. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can fix overheating. There are three different ways to fix overheating on your iPhone and I'm going to talk about all these three ways but before that it is important to understand that why overheating appears so first we will talk about why overheating happens and after that we will talk about the solution to the overheating if you want to switch directly to the solution timestamps are also given down below now without any further delay let's get jump into this video now talking about why overheating happens well sometimes what happens when you update to a newer version newer os update sometimes there are apps that are running in the background and they kept on running in the background maybe because of the testing of new features or because of the cache memory something happens that kept them running in the background and because of that overheating happens because of that battery draining also happens so how you can see the which app is running in the background you can go to the settings from settings you need to go to the battery section over here let the battery stats load go over here and see which app is running in the background for a longer time for example over here whatsapp is running in the background for 50 minutes and this can cause overheating just like that instagram is running over here in the background some other apps are running in the background as you can see these apps can cause overheating if i go over here and see any other app is running in the background for example Google Photos is running in the background for a 9 minute that can cause battery draining that can also cause overheating. So now it's time to talk about how you can fix this, how you can stop the overheating on your iPhone. The very first solution is to limit the background process. So for, for, for that what you need to do is simply go to settings, journal and from here go to background app refresh and from here you can actually stop the app from running in the background so what you can do is for example if there's any app you don't care about for example these are some news app there's another app that i don't want it to be running in the background you know for example this is a wallpaper app i don't want this app to be running in the background i don't care if it is running or not in the background so i can just turn off from here but if there's any uh, app that you really really want to be in the background that can be your messaging app your mail app like whatsapp just ke keep them on um, there can be different games that you don't want them to run in the background for example i don't want township game to be run in the background i don't care if it is running or not I can turn it off now this, this way you can customize this whole thing you can turn on or off the apps and this can help to fix overheating on your iphone now moving to the next solution is actually what you can do is you can refresh your iphone well what happens you kept on using your iphone iphone you never refresh it and cache memory piles up and that can also cause overheating so how you can refresh your iphone is actually very very easy you need to press and hold the power uh, power button and also the volume up button so press those press these buttons just like this and wait for this screen now when this screen appears what you need to do is tap on the cancel form here and when you do this your iphone asks uh, for the passcode to enable face id and this allows to refresh your iphone and it can also help you know to fix overheating so let me put the passcode for a bit now it's time to move to the third solution and that is actually very very simple so what actually happens sometimes you kept on using your phone and you may not able to find the problem maybe there is some background process that is running in the background some background task is happening so after updating to the new os version so how you can stop that the best and the simplest way is to just turn off your iphone hold 
the power button along with the volume up button just like this and power off your iPhone something like this and when it power off and you when you turn it back on it refreshes the whole memory and it there is a possibility that it will kill the unusual activity as it's happening in the background and that was causing the overheating and this way you can fix the overheating on your iPhone. Now these are the three simplest ways to fix overheating on your iPhone. Let me know in the comment section below if this works for you. It works for me for sure. And if anything else is happening, let me know in the comment section below. I'm here to bring video for you guys. Well, this is all from this video and I hope to catch you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.